Hello everyone, I have a bit of a short one for you today. We're looking at the ColourPop Beauty and the Beast collection. I do have a code and a discount down below if you want to use it. Now, in terms of what I, I guess I wouldn't say expected because I don't expect the best things from the ColourPop collections when they like licensed, especially Disney. As someone who is a Disney fan, I thought maybe a good way to go with, with this would have been maybe the individual characters themselves, you know? They have tried to do, but Mrs. Potts' blush here, for example, is a bit more purple. Like, the rest of her has these purple and pink details and the golds. Um, or even, like, the iconic plumette, who is so underrated in Beauty and the Beast. Lashes, she has this lipstick on, she looks incredible. It's a, a kind of collection that maybe wasn't based on Belle, which, oh, you know, not based on her, or not based on just one scene from the cartoon, you know what I mean? But the whole encompassing movie, I think they kind of just focus on the princess and the prince, but Beauty and the Beast, like, the whole character, every character makes that movie, you know what I mean? They could have gone in and done just a Be Our Guest collection. Beauty and the Beast, Be Our Guest, you know what I mean? And had all these amazing colours from that one scene, you know? Um, and even the highlighter, it could have been champagne, it could have been something, but instead we kind of got this palette that is suggestive of Beauty and the Beast. Um, <laughs> but again, Colourpop do this thing where it's a neutral palette with a few pops of colour that belong to an iconic colour from a princess or a prince, and then that's it from their clothing or something like that. So let's let's get on. So I'm gonna start as always with my Sigma Eye Primer. This is the best eyeshadow primer ever. I absolutely love, love, love this. It's so easy to blend, it just holds everything in place. Colours come out nice and vibrant. Let's take a look at the palette. So this is Beauty and the Beast palette. Um kind of underwhelmed by the shades. Yes, there's a pink, yes, there's a blue. Again, it's just a neutral palette with a few pops of colour. I think it could have been a little bit more um, inventive, really. I'm going to go in with the first shade. This is Kind Hearted, which is kind of a neutral. It looks kind of orangey brown going on me here, but it is a bit more pinker in the palette. I'm doing this literally to kind of map out what I want to do. The look we're going for today isn't something too crazy. It's like, oh, that's nice, you know? <laughs> and I have to say, when I first saw this palette, I was underwhelmed. As I said, I'm still underwhelmed by the colour story, but I really enjoyed using it. This is West Wing, a really nice kind of warm brown, chocolatey brown that I'm just going to use to wing out. This blended really, really nicely. I was so surprised. I don't know why, because I do like Colourpop. It's just, you know, occasionally you get the, the dud that's like, uh, you know, like the Twilight collection. Um, <laughs> but this blend is really, really nice. I just wanted to make a little bit of a wing. It sat beautifully on top of the other shades. I just had to blend it all in a little bit more of a bigger brush. Um, yeah, I re I actually really, really liked this. The, the more I was using it, was, uh, the more I was like, okay, this is going nice. I, this is enjoyable to use. I do just wish the colours were a bit more, you know, a bit more themed, because you can buy this kind of palette anywhere, really. Viv this is, sorry, Vivid Imagination. I am so... No, it's not. It's Forbidden. Sorry, I've done the wrong one. This has so many different reflex in it, and you can't see it on camera but it looks like the picture more on the website. There's a bit of blue, there's like a purple, there's a pink. It's really, really beautiful. And it has this texture that's more like a sticky cream, almost. It's not creamy, it's not gel, it's very tacky. So that's why I went in with a brush as well, because my finger was kind of holding onto it. I'm going in with my Merit um, concealer, just to tidy up and then back under the eyes with the shade West Wing. Um... Yeah, and then I thought, okay, you know what? This whole look could use something a little bit subtle. So I went in with Break the Curse, which is a pinky, I guess like a pinky rosy shade. Um, again, which looks kind of orangey on me, just to kind of halo the brown, fade it a little bit more into the skin tone. And it actually worked really well. I was really happy with it. I'm using an Elisa Eldridge pencil to blend onto the waterline. I was happy with the eyes. I was like, this is a nice time. This is the Romand Bare Water Cushion. I'm using more for my foundation, if you're interested. Um, really nice foundation. A little bit too light for me, like most cushion foundations, but you can always fix it with a bronzer. I just love the way it sits on my skin, especially being oily. So before I do bronzer, there were these two blushes as well. There's Mrs. Potts. Is that Miss or Mrs? And Chip, um, which are kind of underwhelming colours, again, to be honest with you. 
I'm using the MUA bronzer. Oh, I'm not going to use a uh, blush because I'm doing a separate video where I need to use a different blush. So I thought, let me leave that. This is the Enchanted Rose Lip Mask. It's nice. It's nice. It did smell like coconut more than it did rose, but there is definitely a rose smell to it. And it was, it was fine. It wasn't the best. This is Break the Spell and Great Adventure. These are two lip kits you can buy them separately or together. I, I actually really liked these colours. This pink, not on me, but I really liked the pink as an individual individual shade. So I whacked the brown on, but that's nice. It kind of just looks like my lips, but I've eaten spaghetti. Then I popped the gloss from the, like, the bell. What was it called? I can't remember now. And I was like, oh no, that's nice. That's a nice mix. So maybe I can switch around the other two also, because um, they sat really beautifully on the skin. I'm gonna whack some lashes on here. I realized those are too big, so I took them off and I gave up, put lashes on later. This is Special Guest Super Shock Highlight. I was actually really disappointed with this, with the shade. Love the texture of Super, Super Shock from Colourpop. I think it's beautiful. It just wasn't that strong. I did try to use it with my fingers as well, and it still wasn't that beam of light you usually get from Super Shock and the Super Shock formula. And it was almost too pinky as well. I don't know. I just, it wasn't very universal in my eyes. But, oh, I put some more lashes on. This is a whole look. Let me know what you think. I actually, I was, I did enjoy using this collection. I just wish if we're going to theme it, let's theme it a lot more. Let's make it a heavy theme. Let me know your opinions down below. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.